Hello, my name is Leif Bjermer. I'm a professor in respiratory medicine and allergology, and also a proud member of Euphoria. And I've been asked to say something about COVID-19 infection and allergy and airway disease. Our patients with asthma and or allergy are greater risk of getting a more severe COVID-19 disease. There are no indications so far that either asthma or allergy are any risk factor for getting more severe disease. This is one of the first uh, reports from China, uh, from the Wuhan district. And um, there they have looked upon the influence by comorbidity and severe COVID-19 disease. And as you can see here, hypertension, diabetes, gastrointestinal disorders, cardiovascular disorder is associated with a more severe course of disease while none of the patients admitted to hospital had asthma or allergic chronitis, despite the background prevalence of around 4% for asthma and 18% for allergic chronitis. Can I be sure that allergic symptoms is not COVID-19 infection? Well, of course, in the very early stage, you may have symptoms that can mimic a lot of things. For example, cough, and runny stuffed nose can mimic ordinary flu. But there are some characteristics for COVID infection, like fever, chills, shortness of breath, and fatigue, and also stomach problem. While allergic symptoms like hay fever have the itching of the eyes, sneezing, swollen or puffy eyelids. Is it safe to take my medication for asthma and allergy? Yes. There are no indications so far that any of the asthma medications are negative. As a matter of fact, there are some indications that inhaled or local corticosteroids, at least some of them, may even have a beneficial effect preventing replication of the viruses. So the best thing you can do is to control your disease and take your medication regularly. For all of us, the most important thing here is to prevent the spread of the virus. Keep the distance. One meter, that's okay for what can be spread by breathing and talking. And then, of course, if you have any symptoms at all, whether or not you are not sure whether your airway symptoms are COVID or, or allergy or whatever, keep safe, keep the distance and um, use the mouth protections. Not for your own sake, but in order to prevent spread of virus to other people. And one thing with the coronavirus is that it has a very delicate shape. And this makes it very vulnerable to detergents and alcohol. So by careful hygiene, washing your hands, using alcohol, you can easily get rid of the virus and prevent what is the most dangerous thing here, and that is the contacts.